One of the major challenges for administrators in the field of chemical legislation often is the transfer external safety data sheets from suppliers into the own system. This can be extremely time-consuming, especially when dealing with documents in other languages or unusual formats. In ChemGuess, it is very easy to transfer these safety data sheets into your own database and achieve excellent results. However, due to the virtually unlimited number of ways in which a safety data sheet can be structured and the possibility of typos in the original documents, in rare cases, it may happen that individual data points are not correctly recognized. In our first example, we transfer a raw material that does not yet exist in ChemGuess. To do this, you simply drag and drop the safety data sheet into ChemGuess. After a few seconds, the substance is then completely set up. A special feature of this process is that the safety data sheet can be in any language, even in rather exotic languages. During the analysis by our internal tools, the safety data sheet is therefore first translated into English and then further processed. All descriptions from the safety data sheet, including synonyms, are transferred. As a special feature, if the safety data sheet is not in English, the main descriptions are translated into English and, if the descriptions are not in your own language, they are also translated into your own language. The classification of the raw material is imported completely and, as already familiar to you from the web research in ChemGuess is displayed as a default value for the classifications. Affected organs are also taken into account. In addition, toxicological values are transferred if a match is found with the test types in ChemGuess. All physical data points that are normally in ChemGuess are transferred in their entirety. Of course, transportation data are also transferred. All further classifications are derived from these data. This means that you can immediately use the newly transferred raw materials in your preparations without any further processing. Additionally, the PDF file that was transferred is also copied to the PDF subdirectory in the ChemGuess data directory so that it is available within ChemGuess at any time. If you have created the substance by mistake, you can simply delete it again. Now let us move on to the next case, transferring the PDF file of a raw material which already exists in the database. ChemGuess recognizes this and displays a list of all raw materials with the same CAS number if there are several of them. You can then select whether you want to create a new substance. The process is then as explained before. Or you can choose to supplement the data for an existing substance with the data from the PDF file. If you want to update an existing substance, an overview will be displayed showing all the different data from the PDF file and the corresponding data from the existing substance. Data that do not yet exist in the existing substance are automatically marked for transfer you can mark all other data yourself. Then press F10 and ChemGuess will perform the transfer. In many cases, safety data sheets for preparations may also need to be transferred. This follows a similarly simple process. You move the PDF file into ChemGuess and ChemGuess automatically recognizes that it is a preparation. This also applies to safety data sheets that are presented as if they were raw material safety data sheets but contain two or more substances, as this is the correct way to create such substances. Once the PDF file has been analyzed, you can specify whether ChemGuess may perform the classification or the classification from the safety data sheet should be imported and locked. You can also specify whether missing raw materials should be created automatically, even if very little information is available for them, simply, when no data other than a description is available. If raw materials are created automatically, their classification is taken from the safety data sheet. If there is no classification for these raw materials in the safety data sheet, the classification is taken from a simplified web research. Our analysis tool initiates several queries to different databases at the same time to obtain a classification for the missing raw materials. For reasons of time and to avoid making the process too complex for the user, it takes the first response. Therefore, if you have the raw materials created automatically and no classifications are displayed for the raw materials in the PDF file, 
you should always check whether the classification determined from other sources on the internet matches your expectations. To make this easier for you, in cases where raw materials have been automatically created, a list is displayed showing which raw materials these are. This list can be exported as an Excel file. If you do not activate the automatic creation of raw materials, only the CAS numbers are transferred for raw materials with CAS numbers and the corresponding substance will not be displayed. Substances without CAS numbers will simply be displayed as comments. You can also call up a raw material directly and have it updated using a PDF file. If ChemGuess recognizes that the CAS number of the raw material in ChemGuess does not match the CAS number in the PDF file, you will receive a corresponding notification and can decide whether you want to cancel or transfer these data anyway. An overview of which data are available in the PDF file will then be displayed and you can determine which data should be updated and which should not. It is also possible to transfer substances from PDF files directly into the formulation without having to enter them manually. This works in principle as shown above, except that you must be in the input field for the ingredient of the recipe and this field must be empty. You can even create your intermediates directly. However, if you want to view and check this intermediates afterwards, you must call them up separately. The transfer of PDF files is therefore an excellent tool for integrating data from external safety data sheets into ChemGuess. Our main concern was to ensure that these data are transferred in such a way that they can be easily used as raw materials or intermediates in your own products, in contrast to other programs where a safety data sheet is simply copied into the system.